Ok, c'est parti. Petit react 5 euh, fois où euh, les pros ont marqué une nouvelle mécanique. Uh, Wait on Pilking, il fait de très très bonnes vidéos. C'est en anglais la plupart du temps, donc euh, on va regarder ça. Je sais pas, normalement il n'y a pas de sous-titres, tout ça. Après, je sais pas si je me les mets. Je pense que je vais les mettre. Hop, But pour vous. So now, like so today, time, so today, in chronological order, I'm showcasing five extraordinary times this actually happened. A cinematic breakdown of what made them possible, the ridiculous statistics behind them, and exactly why they shocked everyone. These are five times Rocket League pros scored new mechanics. C'est beau, c'est beau. Today's video is... Euh, hop. La sponsor, évidemment. Tac. Donc, euh, petite folie, normalement, la vidéo. On verra sûrement des trucs euh, bah, qu'on connaît du coup maintenant, mais euh, avant, qu'on imaginait même pas. Since we're going in chronological order here, we're going to start all the way back at a time where even basic mechanics were considered impressive. Let's go back to the mechanic that changed Rocket League rotation. Les mécaniques rotation. Ah, c'est la pinch. Ah ouais Cuxir. Back in 2017, about a year Wish, and a half the RLCS first started, most top teams were finally starting to balance out into a fairly similar rotation style. A style that had a pretty big emphasis on aggression and pressure and a little less on safety. Players were realizing at this time that the best teams in the world all had the best pressure in the world, with defense being more of an afterthought by comparison. It was a playstyle that worked really well at the time, but one particular mechanic on October 8th, 2017, immediately poked a massive hole in it. In this play, Flipside Tactics were trying to close out their final series of league play in a clean sweep. A clear from Team Secret shot up the ball into the open hands of Cookser. Since the clear was big enough, Cookser actually had a little bit of space to work with once he caught it. But despite that space, Team Secret quickly closed the gap to pounce on the opportunity while they still could. And you can see the entire team move up in unison in this moment. Unfortunately for them though, Cookser had brought the ball to the sidewall quick enough that he could basically set up whatever he wanted. Most often from this position, you would normally see this player here go for an air dribble. After all, air dribbles already existed at this time in RLCS, and people like Cookser were definitely capable of them. But rather than go for something predictable, he decided to try something a bit more surprising. For Cookser in particular, he recently discovered on his own a completely new technique for pinches that he was about to use successfully for the first time in pro play. Cookser jumps up to meet the ball as it rolls up the ramp, turns his car sideways to make sure his first contact is with the corner, and front flips at the perfect time to send it at a ridiculous 149 Ooh. kilometers per hour. <clears throat> Je veux bien, tu traînes le truc, mais en vrai, leur entrée en pro, c'est une folie. Hein. Since this was the first time a goal like this had ever been scored in the RLCS, it makes total sense why the last defender back for Secret was completely stunned. Dinguerie en vrai. Il a mis le perfect pinch. Imagine la première pinch, c'était une perfect pinch. C'est une folie. C'est beau, c'est beau. En vrai, c'est vachement dur les pinch. Et en plus, je les fais pas comme ça, moi. Il y, y a différentes manières de les faire. There's no doubt in the minds of Rocket League fans today that the flipper set is one of the most game-changing mechanics out there ouais. for pro play, if not the most. Even just taking a quick glance at the modern RLCS meta, it's so clear just how crucial they are. You're bound to see multiple attempts at them every single professional game you watch. But who scored the first one? Obviously, there had to be a first. Pros didn't start really using them competitively until around 2019. But as for which... Et je crois que c'était les freestylers qui l'utilisaient en premier, non not exactly clear to the average fan. On November 11th, 2018, the Attends, mais j'avais mis les... RLCS Season 6, Squishy on Cloud9 scored one of the most memorable early... <laughs> Marche pas les sous-titres là. <rire> Resets in Rocket League. A soft clear from Kadop ended up being the perfect setup for Squishy to chip the. Ah, je m'en rappelle là, je crois. Set up this incredible mechanic. Normally, once you jump off the ground, non, you have 1.45 seconds to use your dodge afterwards. If you don't use it in that time, you missed your chance and can't use it anymore. However, if you turn your car over and land all four wheels on the ball, that. Ça, on connaît, on connaît, on connaît quand même. Actually resets and remains there infinitely. So. Pas nous, pas nous. 
long as you want and use your dodge at any moment. This flip reset in the final game of season six is without a doubt one of the most iconic early ones, but it's definitely not the first. More than a month right, earlier so in the league play of that same season, Justin on NRG scored a picture perfect one against the defense of Rogue. Just, today just continues to be one of those days. Oh. Oh. But believe it or not, this one also wasn't the first. To find the true. Eh oui, c'est en. We need to go back way further. Je crois c'est en AV1 freestyle avec Ivempel et tout comme ça. They need a goal soon. Je crois. Still being a nuisance on defense. Is wrong. With a shot in. In a scrap. À moins que. The net, Northern Gaming's Remco jumps Attends, mais... and beats Fera to okay, the aerial. C'est pour les pros, c'est que les pros, donc on compte pas les, les freestyles. Right Unfortunately, from here, the ball bounces softly off the backboard again, and Devo hovers in the air to maintain his now infinite dodge, and finally uses it a ridiculous 2.28 seconds after leaving the ground. Oh, since this double tap flip reset. So ahead of its time, most Rocket League players didn't even know what a flip reset was, including the analysts. Apparently, the reaction to it back then shows you just how far we've come. Sick, he is a beast in defense oh! right now. Almost enough, Devo oh! gets a touch to turbo. Oh, what? On the goal line, put it in. Goal. Finally oh. finishes it off, but can we give credit Debo. to Devo? What a pass! What a touch, indeed. What even is that? C'est beau, c'est beau. Mais je pense, pense que c'était le premier peut-être en en, en compète, mais. Il y en avait avant quoi. We're already on the topic of flip resets. Let's check out a different kind that even today remains an incredibly difficult and rare mechanic. Let's talk about bon pancake. Le pancake. Many mechanics that started in the freestyling world over time. Aye. Actually had a few instances where it was used competitively. Il y en a eu en pro. As well. Genre. Most recently when Rewas did one. Ah c'est c'est récent quand même hein. Oh, look at this shot. Rewas just collapsed it onto the back. Wow. And most notably when Com scored a clutch one at the 2022 Winter Major. Is there a shot coming? Com's there. Squeeze into the pop. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. However, en vrai c'est dur à faire ça. Yes, actually goes all the way back to 2019. Il faut avoir les couilles de le faire aussi surtout. <laughs> In this play, Garrett G tries to look for a passing lane upfield to his teammate Justin, but he slightly misjudges the angle and sends it too far out of reach for a direct pass. As a defender, this is an extremely comfortable situation. The ball's trajectory is at a perfect angle to get a huge boomer clear off the back wall to send it boomer clear. Non, c'est le monster clear. However, despite this player's comfort level in this moment, this ball actually ends up in his net in just a couple seconds. If we rewind for a moment back to when Garrett G first sent the ball away, Justin actually still jumped up for it even though he couldn't reach it directly. He jumps up to meet it at the same time it reached bump. the wall. He does this ah, no. without even checking how far away from the wall he currently is, relying entirely on his natural game sense to make that judgment. The result is a perfect pancake, completely denied wow. clear from card, and putting himself in a prime position to follow it up. No, c'est trop, c'est trop. C'est incroyable, en vrai. You know you're one of the best in the world when you can turn what should be a completely <coughs> dead attack into a go-ahead goal for your team. And that's exactly quoi. what Justin did here. Game. They have not stopped with any of the pressure. Justin up for this quickly. It's in front of the oh box. No. no one's back and Justin will score. Wow. Ça, ça fait plaisir. ça. Justin, il est chaud. Ouais, il était chaud. <rire> Après, il est chaud toujours, mais... C'est une légende maintenant. Tu perfectus. C'est quoi, ça on September 21st, 2019, a player named Psycho uploaded a clip to YouTube of a type of goal that literally no one had ever scored before. Utilizing the entire field and getting two perfect touches in a row, it's one of the most beautiful wow. mechanics Le Psycho. ever in Rocket League. It's so amazing that the mechanic was named after him, and this one clip sparked a ton of pros and freestylers to start learning it for themselves to use it in their own games. Little did they know though, the precision and skill it takes to actually pull this off in comp is beyond what anyone... C'est trop dur à faire. 
trop 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 dur. Mechanic gaining so much popularity and so many professional players practicing it, it wouldn't be until three years later before it's actually scored in the RLCS. But let me tell you, it was absolutely worth the wait. In this play, Daunt of Charlotte Phoenix tries to slot a shot on target from about midfield, and he actually places it really oh. well. The power just wasn't really there though, so it would be easily covered by the defense. Gyro from Rogue jumps up for the save and gets a perfectly precise redirect to his backboard. The thing about this mechanic is you really need to laser both of your touches as fast as possible because the ball can easily lose too much speed if you don't. On the first touch, Gyro increased its already high speed by about 17 kilometers per hour. This is really fast, in case you don't know. As it bounces off, it immediately loses most of its speed, dropping down to just 73 kph, while Gyro simultaneously uses his last remaining 14 boost to put his car in the perfect position. From there, he gets the exact touch he needs to realign the ball's trajectory and jump its speed right back up. Wow. No, in fact, it's too hard to do the Psycho. It's too, too hard. It's really too, too hard. Three years after the first one was scored and uploaded to YouTube, the Psycho had finally made its way into professional Rocket League with a goal that couldn't be more satisfying. There's that defensive double commit. Gyro fortunately able to get back to it. Gets the second touch. Gyro, what is this? La folie. Oh my goodness. Yo. Incroyable, en vrai. Mais le premier, le premier psycho là qu'il a eu plein de quoi, il était trop beau en vrai. At this point in professional Rocket League, there's not a lot of mechanics out there that haven't been done before in the RLCS. After nearly eight years of Rocket League, qu'est-ce que ça peut être? We've seen just about everything at least once. But until recently, and when I say recently, I mean literally a month ago, there was one mechanic in particular that still hadn't occurred in professional. Le stun. And when you see it for yourself, you'll understand exactly why. We're about to break down one of the most insane professional goals of all time, in my opinion. In all my years as an ah, je pas vu, je crois. I've never seen anything like this, and honestly, I don't know if we ever will again. To begin this play, gentle mates notice an opportunity. J'ai pas vu, j'ai raté un truc. All three opponents are pushed up, leaving them vulnerable to be punished for it. It's clear at this moment that if gentle mates work fast enough, Toxic from Top Cougars would be the only one remotely available to make a save. And lo and behold, Gentle Mates started off perfectly with an absolute dime from Seiko to Juicy at the midfield. Ah, ils refait une passe. Ah oui, je crois ils ont fait leur jeu à trois là. In this position, Juicy is capable non? of placing the shot wherever he wants, really, if he just orients his car to account for it. But with the last defender coming from the right side of the net, the best placement would definitely be anywhere on the opposite side. So with some seriously phenomenal precision, Juicy pins the shot perfectly to the far post and with the absolute maximum amount of power. Literally perfect. You can't make a better shot. This alone is already so impressive. Unfortunately though, this play isn't actually about him. With unbelievably perfect timing, Toxic races the ball to the goal line and reaches it at the exact moment it begins to cross, immediately causing wow. the craziest pinches I've ever seen in this game. The ball was placed perfectly against the post by Juicy at a quoi, ils ont... <laughs> ils ont pris un pinch de plat. But that level of perfection ended up being exactly what led to their demise. Why wow, ils ont pris un pinch de plat. This play instantly went into the history books for me. Even though the setting of it wasn't as clutch as some others, it's something I think the Rock of the Community will remember for quite a while. 40 seconds, Seiko needs to begin something with this play. Juicy's the only one up, that's on target. It's bottom corner! It's going no! Toxic! It's going from the wow. Attends the quoi, ils avaient, ils avaient mis deux games? Hein? Magical! You know wow, non, en vrai, c'est une folie, hein. C'est n'importe quoi. <rire> Et là, tu fais un place parfait. Tu prends une pinch d'eau. Like sure non, c'est chaud, c'est chaud, c'est chaud. C'est chaud, c'est chaud.